every time you play that upbeat, that upbeat needs to be more expressive. Yeah, da, da. You play ti da dum, ti da dum. Maybe you have to anticipate a little bit the, the B flat. One, two, di da da da, da. and then you play it very wide. Um, more crescendo and diminuendo and more articulation. Da, 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 da. It's not that's also the the second part we will talk about later. Let's try that again. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. But you, you go too much on the you see, I, I, I meant to anticipate the B flat, but the, the, the most important one is the, the G. You do too much. It's not that. It's not that much, eh? a little bit of a small comma. And you might have noticed when I do staccato, I do it from the diaphragm, from the tummy. Very low, never only with your tongue, always pum, 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 you know, giving form to every note. Never, you know, it's not very elegant. Try always to make a round sound. The point is that uh, a wind instrument like the bassoon does not have a res resonance case like a, a, a string instrument. If you compare to a bassoon to a violoncello, uh, you play a very short note on the violoncello and you always will have the boom sounding. We don't have that on the bassoon. The only, the only thing we have is the resonance of the whole. We are not playing the same rhythm, it's different rhythm. So let, let, I'll try it again. I'll, I'll go again with the foot. Quintuplet should be very straight. Ya ta to ta to ta. Ya ta 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 ta. Yeah, and in between there is of course the small notes, the small acciaccatura. Dida ya do do dida. But that acciaccatura should not change the rhythm of the quintuplet. Let's soak it again for a while, and then we will start with one of the files here. And I have very, a lot of international tools because I have a, a German mandrel, I have a Swiss knife, of course, I have a Japanese ruler for, for, for perfection, I have a Spanish file, my goodness. Okay, let's see, let's put this away so you can see more or less what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make a nice form, yeah, on the tip of the reeds, and I go with a lot of water with a file on it, and I hope it's good in, in, uh, in the image, so you can see that I'm not pressing with the right hand, I'm just going back and forward, and I'm, going, I'm trying to always go in the direction of the edges, the corners, I mean, the corners. So you see, even though I'm here in the middle, I'm always looking in that direction, in the direction of the corner. And then there was also, I, I, I heard once a recording which changed my life when I was 17 years old. Uh, Gilbert Audin, also an, another uh, French bassoon player, he made a recording of, uh, and that must have been 1980 or 81, he made a, he made a recording of Jean-Francais Concerto. Uh-huh. And... Uh, piece. 
a very, very funny, very beautiful piece, yeah. uh, very difficult. And yeah. he, his recording is amazing. It's really one of the best Boisson recordings ever made. Uh -huh. I think he plays fantastically on, in that recording. And uh, that was when I was 17. Boom. <laughs> yeah. That shocked me. Yeah. Wow. You wanted to be able to. I wanted to do that too. Yeah, you know, sure, that, sure. That, that's that feeling. That's the feeling you have when you're yeah, young. Yeah. 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 Uh, there are many, many, many young musicians who make you laugh when they play. Yeah because they make you happy because they're so good. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. wow, wow, they can yeah, play so many yeah. notes. But there are just a few that can make you cry yeah. because they can play so beautiful. Most you know? important thing. And that's the most point. important yeah. thing that music, that why are we musicians? Yeah. For that, for yes. that feeling, you yeah. know? Yeah. For to make one note and make it beautiful. Yeah.